This is my most ambitious project yet. I decided to make the best video game ever. A game that will be so good that people will be totally amazed by it, by its capabilities, by you won't be able to put it down. This game is designed to be the best video game ever in the history of the world. No Mario, no Sonic, no GTA, no Red Dead Redemption. Nothing will beat this game. So the first thing is that it will be totally open world. So you can go, it's, it's 4D, it's, you can feel it. You can go in whichever direction you want to. You can talk to the NPCs and there will be a bunch of NPCs with different personalities. And the AI is so good that they will say a bunch of random things that you could never imagine that they would be able to say. But at the same time, it's a multiplayer game. So there will be players that aren't NPCs and you actually, you actually don't know which of them are NPCs and which of them aren't. You kind of have to figure out by yourself, which is a pretty cool thing because some of the NPCs are so good that you won't be able to tell them apart from the NPCs because the AI is so good. Also, we'll have a weather system. So the weather will change. It will be night, it will be day. It might rain, it might not rain. So there will be a, a bunch of, of things that the weather can influence. There will be seasons. We will also have other AI characters that aren't in, from the same build that you are. So for instance, you will have an a, a character that's a four-legged character, even though most of the characters that you interact with are bipeds, uh, they walk on two legs. You will have some characters that have four legs. You will have some characters that have wings and can fly. You will have some characters that can go through water or some other fluid. So this game will be very interesting. Another thing, depending on where you spawn or depending on when you spawn, you will have different tech trees. You will have different learning trees that you can choose from. And depending on the, the timeline in which you are spawning, the tech tree will be totally different. And depending on when or better, where you spawn, you also have a different tech tree. You have different abilities that you have to try and and acquire you can use your experience points in different ways so you can try to maximize for intelligence you can try to maximize for charisma you can try and maximize for strength and you have a limited time you have a limited you have limited experience points to put in each of these traits so you have to be very wise about how you use them but also where you spawn and the your game family the people that or the characters that you interact with when you are in the beginning of the game influence totally on the outcome of the, the end of the game so you have to think about that as well and depending on where you spawn in the map that also changes the culture in which you're spawning so you'll have to you know it will be a very complex game it's very complex. It's total multiplayer, open world RPG kind of game. What else we'll have? Well, it's also super meta because within the game, you will have some players arguing about the existence of the game. Why are we here in this game? How was this game created? Who are the creators of the game? And some of them will have a different theory of how the game was created, why was it created, why are you playing the game in the first place. So you will have all of these meta, um, that meta culture, that, that lore inside the game. So within the game, you will have a bunch of lore and people will be thinking, wow, is this the only game out there? Are there other games out there? Are there other worlds in our game? Are there other universes, parallel universes, parallel games? 
and you can play a game within the game. So it, it, it will be a very meta concept. It will be something very unusual, at least for most people. What else? Yeah, I talked about interacting with players from other builds, about the environment with with weather systems and cycles. So yeah, there will be a lot of fanfic within the game as well from other players, and you won't know which of them are NPCs, which of them are, are players, actually. And another thing that's very cool that we will have is that we will have a butterfly effect or a chaos theory effect within the game. So depending on your actions, depending on the actions of other players, and even of random effects because of the weather, because of the world itself, because of the other build players that are within the game, everything can change. So you have this butterfly effect, this chaos fury effect that what you do might have unintended consequences that completely change the game for other players. And also we will have a black swan effect that sometimes something completely random will change the game completely for most of the players. So this game will be something unimaginable, like really. And depending on how you play it, you will feel different things depending on the mini games you decide to take part on, or depending on the players you interact with, you might feel different things because this will be, okay, so, before we go further, th this game will be totally like a, a virtual reality in which you can actually feel the things. You're not just moving. You're, it, you're totally interacting. So your brain and your body, it's like you're part of the game. So when you interact with another player, you actually feel it as if you were living it. And those interactions between players and in the whole groups that they are a part of will make it, especially because we have this Chaos Fury feature, will make these whole cultures within the game interact with each other. So you'll have levels between, so we have the players and then the groups and then bigger groups that will form different cultures and those cultures will interact. And within the group, you'll have different civilizations as well and different countries or different leaders so this game will be completely insane for what we're ever experienced so far you will also be able to learn different languages to interact with players that you won't be able to naturally interact with them so you will need different languages or a different translator or a different system so that you can interact and you know what's the craziest part of them all the craziest part is that you are already playing this game. You are playing this right now. And you've been playing this for a long time already. Because ever since you were born, you spawned into the game. Everyone that's born, everyone that you interact with has spawned into this game. And we've spawned into it in different times, different places, different families, different cultures but we are all playing the game and the game is called life. And I know that most of you prefer to just think of life as being something that you can escape from. You might be thinking of how you can go to Netflix or to a video game and escape your life, but you are already playing the best game there is. You are already in the most incredible game that you could ever be part of. Every action you do, everything that you think influences not only you, but the people around you. And by doing this, it's a domino effect that influences people all around the world. And we have this possibility of playing the best game ever, of actually feeling things. So you can feel... If you, if you pinch yourself, you will feel something right now. If you pull your hair, you will feel something right now. If you scratch your head, you'll feel something different. 
If you take a sip of water, you will feel the water coming in. You'll feel more hydrated. You'll feel the energy. So for God's sake, if you are already playing the best video game ever, why don't you play it to the best of your abilities? Why don't you play it to maximize for your purpose, maximize for your happiness, maximize for the happiness of the people around you, maximize for your health so that you can feel better? Why don't you do that instead of just lying around and going through escapism, going through social media, going through video games? Why don't you just play the game? This is the message. This is the message. This is the best video game ever. The best video game that was ever invented and that will ever be invented. We don't need a fucking virtual reality um, headset. We don't need any of that. We have something much better at our disposal since the dawn of time. So please just go out of your room right now. Take a look at the sky. See that giant ball of fire in the sky, the sun. Engage with it. Engage with the animals. Take a look at the miracle of creation. Talk to people around you. And just go play the game. Because being a rock star is all about this. It's about enjoying life and about doing the best that we can. And we are already playing the best game ever. So go take a walk outside and have some fun.